This issue is being challenged in a lot of different places in the country. In this case, an attorney does not argue his client is innocent. It's an attempted murder was his last charge. Instead, Jason Flores Williams wants the Colorado Supreme Court to reconsider how his client was sentenced. The court, when it sentenced him to 96 years in prison, it utilized or used as a basis for that crimes that occurred when he was a juvenile. Larry Gomez is 43 now, but when he was 16, he committed two felonies. At the age of 16, there was a robbery and a burglary. That's it. Then came a drug charge as an adult. He was found with uh, 1.1 grams of cocaine. When Gomez was sentenced for attempted murder in 2013, those previous convictions came back to haunt him, multiplying his sentence under Colorado's habitual offender law. So if the United States Supreme Court is saying, hey, you know, you, we cannot be giving life sentence for, for juveniles because we acknowledge the juveniles have a different mind, different capacities, don't understand their consequences, then how is it that we can be using juvenile adjudications, right, as the basis to give somebody life sentences? Flores Williams filed a petition asking the state's highest court to weigh in. This issue has not been addressed by lawmakers, and that may be the problem for Gomez and his attorney, because it may be that the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeals also are letting the legislature decide whether to change the Habitual Offender Act to exclude juvenile convictions. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says the Colorado Supreme Court accepts fewer than 5% of cases. Flores Williams hopes his will be considered. Noel Brennan, Nine News. Flores Williams filed his petition yesterday. There's no telling when or if the Colorado Supreme Court will take up the case.